What's going on guys, Playbox here, and we're back for another Dragon Ball Legends video. In this one, we're going to be going over the new banner coming out, featuring the new, of course, Beast Gohan, as well as the ultimate unlocked, ultimate Piccolo, potential unlocked Piccolo, power awakening, whatever, and obviously Pan. Now, this is actually the first banner since, I believe, the third anniversary? I think it's the third anniversary. That's featuring one LF and two sparking units. Yes, Pan and Piccolo are both regular 1% sparking units. I'm, well, I'm guessing they're 1% sparking units. And then go on is the LF unit. That is crazy to me that we're actually getting uh, two sparkings. And it's honestly been, it's actually the first banner since, of course, the anniversary where we're getting a LF and another sparking, right? Since they just go with um, one sparking banner, one LF banner nowadays for whatever reason. So that in it itself is already enough reason for you guys to summon if you guys were already thinking of uh summoning or not but it's going to be a regular step up banner of course i don't think there's uh any differences from these and the monthly lfs it's 20 z power 20 double z power 20 percent rate and you'll return to step two after step six so it's basically gonna be you know your 100 summon your 300 summon 700 and then i believe it's the uh ex multi then step five is just a regular multi, and then step six is the free multi, and then you're gonna redo this, um, the steps, and then you have, of course, the coins to exchange for, you know, um, Legends Limited Z Power, summon tickets, and just straight up Z Power for any of the units, which is most of the time not worth unless you get really badly shafted, which I hope that doesn't happen. But we don't have the information on what other units are going to be on the banner, but honestly, I don't think the other units matter as much on this banner because you're already getting three very good units. Beast Gohan is already looking like he's the best unit in the game just straight off his kit. He actually looks stupid. Uh, and then pa Pan is also very good and then Piccolo is also very good. So you're getting three very good units and they're all, both, they're all of them are uh, double C power, double rates. And if you get Gohan or Piccolo, you get a free copy through their event that uh, that's going to be permanent. You get an extra 600 Z power. So that's basically 1800 Z power if you pull one of the units, uh, which is really good. That gets them to four stars right away. And then if you have the Legend Limited Z power uh, lying around, you can get them to like six stars. And there you go. One copy will basically get you to six stars if you, of course, have the Legend Limited Z power. But um, 1800 Z power is still very good. Um, I, it's like I said, there's really no... Um, I don't think the the banner units itself is should be a big enough incentive. Uh, obviously, if you're a movies main, yeah, this looks like a must summon for you. I know Broly would look like a must summon, Cooler look like a must summon, but you know they just are buffing movies to oblivion at this point. I don't know. I guess they don't care about what happens to the meta, but it is what it is. There's all we're also be, gonna be getting this free hundred hundred uh, summons, which is pretty cool. You're able to get the gamma one and two from there, but. This is obviously gonna. Okay, this is obviously gonna be the prize here. I would honestly say it's really it's a tough decision here because Beast Gohan at this point is probably the most anticipated or was the most anticipated unit um, up to this point because we had pretty much gotten all the major units. So Beast Gohan was pretty much the most anticipated, right? And they're dropping this guy right before Legends Festival, the biggest celebration of Legends. So it's tough. Do you want to just spend all your CC for? Uh, arguably the most hype unit thus far or are you going to be waiting for legends festival and wait for the extreme value that's going to happen from there i don't think legends i mean i it's pretty fair to assume that i don't think legends festival is going to power creep go on it's they're not just going to drop this guy be best unit in the game and then drop drop the legends festival units and them just completely shitting on this guy i don't think that's i mean then again we're talking about legends here so anything is possible so they've done it multiple times already so i don't think that's actually far-fetched but i don't think both beast gone is going to drop that much due to the Le legends festival units i he's just ridiculous but obviously we've said this over and over and over and over again with all units so it's not really much uh worth anymore so i mean if i were you i would definitely recommend summoning even if you're not a hot like a movies main or a hybrids main i mean i guess there wouldn't be much worth in summoning but you can just easily throw this guy obviously because of the leader slot on literally any team and he would work very very well so that's why it, it just feels wrong not to summon especially since you're getting three new characters instead of the regular one character or even just two characters so i think this he's honestly 
looking like a must summon here. But obviously, it's it's up to you guys if you want to summon and whether he's going to fit on your teams or not. I definitely know that I'm going to be summoning. Probably going to go decently deep. I don't know. Unless I get lucky. But we'll just have to wait and see. So definitely drop a comment. Let me know if you guys are summoning or not. I'm interested to know. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe. Because that's just so important. So don't forget. I don't know. Have a great day. See ya.